Welcome back to another reaction on the channel. Today we're going to be watching Alice in Borderland Season 1 Episode 3. And man am I looking forward to it. Last episode we had Arisu and Kareem playing that game where pretty much he was running from this guy in a horse outfit with a submachine gun. And man, it was so intense. I really enjoyed that episode. Um, so yeah, there was that bold guy and his friend and he sacrificed his friend. For pretty much no reason. I don't know why he did that. But um, luckily that climber at the end of the episode managed to climb all the way up there. And press the button. Uh, press the two buttons. Because they needed two people to end the game. And they did it with one second remaining. Man that was that was intense. And uh, yeah I was right about my theory. That the people in the horse mask were actually just other people playing the game. And obviously if they failed they got killed. Which they did. With the explosive neck collar that was that was brutal yeah i'm really looking forward to going into this episode i want to i want to know more about that beach because at the end of last episode we had the radio saying go to the beach or meet up at the beach or something so is that where the organizers are going or like the hierarchy i mean yeah that that's my thoughts going into this episode but yeah this is alice in borderland season one episode three titled episode three and yeah let's get straight into it i wonder what this episode's game will be then. And I hope Kareeb will be alright, because obviously he got stabbed last episode. What the hell does that mean? I'm really interested in this radio right now and the beach. What's that all about? Also, in the previous episodes, I've been saying it's a Korean series, but it's actually a Japanese series, as I was correcting in the comment section. Man, I wonder what the next game will be though. Will it be even harder? Or will it be like a completely different game? Oh, it's starting up. Oh, that's different. What the hell? Actually, yeah, I agree with them too. They, them two should go as they haven't actually played a game yet. I wonder if that climbing girl will be there again. Every episode, I'm always asking this. What could the game be? Because there's no way of guessing, is there? Oh, man, this is going to get intense. I already know. I was looking up on Alice in Borderland, and apparently each episode, it keeps getting more and more intense. Oh, shit. Is it like one of the the, the sleigh things? Collar, the neck collars. To buy natural botanical garden. Oh, man, what game is this going to be? Seven of Hearts, difficulty seven, and they have to betray each other. Oh, oh my God! Wait, so only one of them can survive? Oh my God! So only one of them are getting out of this? What? No, 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 no! And she's the one who said earlier that she'd do anything to survive. I really don't want her to survive. If it has to be one of them, I want Arisu or Karub to survive. You gotta feel bad for Coach in this scenario, though. Nice, yeah, give it to Arusu. Oh my god, no, no, no. If Karib gets killed, I swear to god. They're fighting for their survival, Kota. Man, see, Kota's too innocent for this. Man, who is actually gonna win this, though? There's only one to get out. That's so far. I mean, what would you do in this situation? It'd be impossible. No, don't say Kota's gonna get killed. Oh my god, they're all gonna turn against each other. That one might work. What if it explodes, man? I mean, to be honest, how could you cut that when you could literally explode? I don't get why these two are too fight. Are still fine, to be honest. Oh man, I hope Kareem doesn't do anything stupid. I feel like he's in the headspace to just kill anybody right now. But then again, I don't want him to die. But I can, I can definitely see him die in this episode. I don't get why these two are still fighting, though. To be honest, there's no way they're gonna just all die. Surely not. Man, what's gonna happen here? No way this is actually happening. No way everyone's just gonna die. It goes back to what I was saying last episode about the instant noodles. I'd be eating a ton of them if I was in like Japan or South Korea and everyone wouldn't miss them. Well, I guess I never open up that bar. I still don't get why these two are fighting now. It doesn't make any sense. Man, I don't know what to expect here. Are they actually just going to die? Why is he still killing them? I don't understand what... Oh. What did that say? You become the wolf of your hide. And I see what Kota's is doing. Wait. Hide so that the wolf won't find you? Wait, is Arusu actually going to die? Wait, no way, right? He's keeping her quiet because he thinks... Oh, they all think they're dying for him, but he's actually dying for for them. I was not expecting that. No, don't say a rooster's gonna die, man. It said, sheep hide well, the wolf will be eliminated. So they actually got it backwards. Oh, man. I don't know if they're actually gonna die or is a rooster gonna die? As she realized. <laughs> What the fuck? No! Oh my god, are you actually kidding me? Does that mean Kota and the other one's actually dead as well? Oh my god. 
See, at the end, I thought it was saying that the wolf would die and the sheep would survive. That's why I was like, oh my god. But it was, in fact, the wolf that survived. Oh my god. What does this mean now, then? Oh, so yeah, that was my reaction to Alice in Borderlands Season 1, Episode 3. And man, oh, that was such a great episode, but so, so sad. I was not expecting that. So at the end, it was actually the sheeps that was that were going to be killed. Because that was that thing where it says the wolves hide and sheep survive or something. I got really confused there. And I thought Arusu was actually going to die. And everyone else thought that they were sacrificing themselves. But it was actually Arusu was going to die. But it turned out everyone else did die. So Karusu. Oh my god. Karib, Kota, the guild. They're all dead. So what does this mean now? What's going to happen with the games? Like, who's... What's Arusa going to even do? Like, how how could you move on in that situation? What's going to happen with the beach? We didn't get anything on the beach. Oh, man, I have so much questions. But that was a phenomenal episode. I'm loving this series. But, man, that was such a sad episode. The sad turning. Because, obviously, when the game started, it said it was um, level 7, which is insane. And, obviously, the hearts from the previous episodes, which means betrayal. So... It was actually already said that start only one would survive and the rest died, but I was expecting some miracle like a rooster's a genius. I thought he'd be managed to find some way out, but clearly not. But yeah, that was my reaction to season one, episode three of Alice in Borderland. Thank you for watching and goodbye.